In this video, I'm going to show you five pro tips to help you make a good tutorial video. I hope it is helpful for you. Hi guys, it's Jackie here with Filmora to empower your inner video creator. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Jackie Nguyen, one of many Filmora users on YouTube. I've been using Filmora for video production since 2017. I use Filmora to create many different types of video, including YouTube video, tutorial video, and also video for my family too. For me, the software is just a tool to turn our idea into video, and Filmora is just the right tools in my case. After a long time using the software, I really love it and want to share my experience with new people. That's the main reason why I publish so many Filmora tutorials on my YouTube channel, as well as joining Wondershare FCC program. To be honest, Filmora wasn't perfect from the start, however, it is updated very often. Up to now, Filmora 12 is really one of the best video editing software on the internet, in my opinion. Alright, and let's get started now. Alright, my very first and very simple tips for those of you who want to grow a tutorial channel is to find the need of your audience. So if you want to grow here on YouTube, it is very important for you to find the need of your audience. You need to find out what information your audience is looking for and then all you need to do is to make a video to answer their question. One of my favorite ways to find the need of my audience is to use YouTube suggestion system. So whenever I think about a keyword for my video, I will go to YouTube and go to the search bar and then I will type the keyword. For example, Filmora Trial for example, and I will see what suggestion YouTube can give me. Then I will make a video based on that suggestion. Added to that, I also go to my YouTube studio to find the question from my audience so they are at the comment section. If the question is interesting and it is related to my channel, then I will make a video to answer that question. Okay, so that is the first tip for you. Hopefully you find it helpful. Okay, so that is the first tip for those of you who want to make a good tutorial video. And the second tip for you is about writing script for your video. When making software tutorial, it is very important to write the script in simple language. So you must ensure that your audience understand your video. Try to avoid using technical phrases if you don't have to, because your audience will be confused. You are making software tutorial for beginner, not the experts. So talking about writing script, firstly, you don't have to write down everything you want to say in your video because it will make you speak unnaturally. Okay, so it is better to write down only the key point in your video and then when you're filming, you can explain it in your own language. It will help you avoid talking like a robot. Okay, so this is my simple script for making video. Okay, tip number one, tip number two, tip number three, and stuff like that. Okay, so the first tip for you is that you have to find out the most comfortable time for filming. My favorite filming time is around 9 a.m. in the morning. So when my kids are at school and my wife is at the office, nobody around my studio. It is a quiet place so I can start filming. Okay, so it is very important to get good audio in a quiet place or room. Added to that, I, I will always start filming when I myself feel comfortable because I don't really want to transmit my negative energy to my audience. I usually avoid taking video when I'm tired or sleepy. So tip number two for filming is about your fluency. Try to be as fluent as possible. You should try to finish two or three sentences before you pause or mess up or drip off the topic or stuff like that. Do not pause in the middle of the sentence. Otherwise, your voiceover will be very choppy. And my last tip about filming for you is that you have to look at your camera lens. Okay, so it is very important to make eyes contact with your audience. But you can only do that by looking at the, your camera lens, not the screen 
on the right side. And if you are using Filmora 12 screen recorder, it is better to record your talking head video and the screen video separately. By doing that, you will have more room to edit your talking head video. You can easily zoom in your talking head video or zoom out or move it to the corner of the screen easily. Okay, so these are the tips about filming and let's talk about editing video using Filmora 12. Okay, and my first tip for those of you who want to create a good tutorial video is to use the right transition at the right place. Do not overuse the transition effect. You know that Filmora 12 has so many different kind of transition effect. By the way, if you overuse them, this effect can be annoying to your audience. And my second tip for you is about the audio. If you have a talking head video with a background music, don't forget to use the audio ducking to emphasize your voiceover. This is the most interesting feature in Filmora that I use all the time. Whenever I want to emphasize my voiceover, I always turn on the audio ducking feature. And the percentage I use is 65% for all of my video. And the next tip to help you create a good tutorial video faster in Filmora is about the favorite folder. In Filmora, if you select any important tab here, you will see the favorite folder. This is a favorite folder where you can save your custom template and it is the same in the transition and the effect tab. So you save all the frequently used effect in this fabric folder. It is a lot faster to find them whenever you want to use them. Okay, and we mentioned that in Filmora we have this star button. If you want to add it to fabric folder, all you need to do is to click here to add it or remove it from the fabric folder. If I like the effect, I can just click here to add it to my favorite folder. And these are the effects that I frequently use in my tutorial. I have the image mask, the border, and beautify, and the shape mask here. So whenever I want to use them, all I need to do is to go to effect, and then I can select favorite. Then I can easily find this, the effect here. I don't have to search for them all the time. Okay, so these are some of my tips about editing video with Filmora 12. And my final tip to help you create a good tutorial video is about exporting your project. Alright, in order to create a good tutorial video for uploading to YouTube or other video sharing platform, you have to make sure that your video is at high quality. Whenever you want to create a video, don't forget to set up your project to at least 1080p or 4K. It's up to you. And when exporting your video, you want to keep your project setting. And the only information you want to change in the export setting is your bitrate number. You want to increase it to 15,000 or 20,000 kbps or stuff like that to get a good video quality. With Filmora Trial, you can also create an export preset and use it later. Alright, so that's everything I want to share with you in this video. Now you know how to create a good tutorial video using Filmora Trial. I hope this tip can help you become a better content creator. And make sure you like the video and subscribe to Wondershare Filmora channel for more video editing tips. Keep creating!